Today we're going to talk about how we can improve our use of hypermedia um, and not lose our students to the extraneous and it can be as easy as how we visualize things within our presentations. So we're going to think about three things today. Number one, typography. We have to think about how people see and how they see well. Um, Declutter is always a good thing. I think about this, I'm not a person who can have a ton of stuff on my desktop. And so if I don't need it there, I try and file it away. And I think about that the same way as a um, presentation slide. If there's too many things on there, they're just distracting. Size, uh, this is something that you kind of have to take into account your atmosphere. Like the type on this would be probably too small for my students in my classroom because I have a proportionally large classroom to the board that I project on. So that's something that I would have to keep in mind here. I also have uh, three students that are colorblind. So even though I'm a person who enjoys lots of different color and design and those different aspects of how fun hypermedia can be, it's also important to take that into consideration. So uh, even though black font might not be as um, exciting, it is something that I tend to use anymore because I know that those students can see. Another thing to think about is your screen design. Again, it is less is more when it comes to design. Declutter, you don't need all those things on here. Here's a really simple fix that I did for my leaf parts um, presentation that I have. I removed all of the scientific definitions, changed the font color, made it bigger so students could see it, and you know this is going to be an opportunity for me to truly teach them and then to do maybe some inquiry learning when it comes to the definitions of these four things. And the third is media. Um, animations are can be used in a great way, like to keep kids on track or who you're working with. You know, they're seeing what you are talking about right then and not working ahead in the presentation. But it's um, important to think that any media you use is germane or ties to what you're actually teaching about. Um, because if not, it can just be a distraction and kind of lead people away in all of the other things. I think that is important to remember when we're designing presentations. I always think about like that professional development or meeting that you've sat through, that the one that you start to count the ceiling tiles. Um, make sure that we're not doing the same thing to our students. So keep it short, sweet, to the point, and clean and decluttered to look at. Some of the IST the standards that we hit on was the design of our presentations can affect how students access their higher order thinking skills. We have to give them the opportunity to see through the extraneous stuff. And as instructors, we should use our research-based best instructional practices to model effective use of technology.